My name is Cor and welcome to my channel Driving with Gloves. I always drive with car gloves. Your question might be why do I drive with gloves? And my answer is why not? Sorry, I didn't notice that I'm already on film. The land you see on the other side of the water is not Capri. So this episode is not about the Fort Capri or the Fort Capri as the English say. No, this episode is about the real thing. car which was sold 22,000 times on the day that it was launched and it started a new class of cars, the pony car. And this is it, the Ford Mustang. Nova car in Pontetresa was so kind to let me use this car for today. If you have watched other episodes from Driving with Gloves, you notice that Nova car is a specialist for classic Mercedes-Benz. But in between, they have very nice other cars as well. Cars like the Isorivolta Fidia, the De Tommaso Longchamp, or the Ultra Ferrari 400 Spider. So, let's put on my gloves and drive. Uh oh, what's happening now? There it is, the V8 sound. That Lotus four cylinder doesn't sound too bad either. Perhaps you know that the Ford Mustang was featured for the first time in a film, which was filmed here in Switzerland. This is the Furka Pass, to me one of the most beautiful roads in Switzerland. The name comes from the Latin word Furka, which means fork. And this am I, approximately 17 years ago on the Furka Pass with my Porsche 911. And it was the third and most famous Bond film which was filmed here and two completely new cars were introduced. One was the Aston Martin DB5. And yes, that's me again, because I used to work for Aston Martin. The other car which was launched in Goldfinger, because that's the film I'm talking about, was the Ford Mustang. The Ford Mustang was launched on April the 17th, 1964. The filming from Goldfinger with the Ford Mustang in Switzerland was around May-June 1964. Actually, they had planned to use a golden Ford Mustang Fastback, but Ford was not yet ready to provide such a car before September, so it was replaced by a white or some say light yellow convertible Mustang. Until 1960, Ford was only making rational cars, but Ford saw that there was a demand for cars in which it could show off, so they tried to pimp up the Ford Falcon with some fancy colors. In 1961, they decided to create a youth car. It had to be inexpensive, exciting and sporty, but they thought that the market was too small to bring a new sporty two-seater like the rival Corvette from General Motors. So they developed a concept car, Allegro. 13 different versions were made, but then Ford came up with another concept car, the Mustang One, a mid-engined two-seater sports car. It was only designed to draw public attention. It was not designed for production, because four seats would double the sales. So then they designed the Mustang II, which was near to the final design. 
It was initially named after the airplane Mustang, but the horse became the car's trademark. What you can't see is that on the left from me there is a small river called Fraser. I am still driving in Switzerland, but on the other side of the river it's Italy. That's why the weather is so good here. And that's why you have all these Italian look-alike villages here. At the first day, Ford received already 22,000 orders, but after four months, 100,000 were already sold, and after one year, they sold more than 400,000 Mustangs. This car is from 1966, and this year, only one and a half years after the launch, Ford has already sold 1 million Ford Mustangs. Its diversity was a part of the car's appeal. You had the hardtop, the fastback and the convertible. You had four engines to choose from. There were straight six engines beginning with 120 HP, up to V8 engines with 271 HP. And as I said before, today I'm going for the real thing, so this is a V8. sound yes it is and I'm enjoying it but how is it to drive well I have driven better cars to be honest but it's a thrill I do not know about you, but if you had to choose between a woman who is very friendly and a fantastic look, like this one, or a very sexy girl who can't cook but looks stunning like this, I know which one I would choose. And I hope you do agree with me, the last one is the Ford Mustang. Thank you very much for watching this episode from Driving with Gloves with this gorgeous 1966 Ford Mustang V8. What I like the most about the car is the front. It's a beautiful face with these optional fog lights. And so I have to thank Nova Car again in Ponte Tresa for lending me this wonderful car. And if you liked this video, please like this video on YouTube and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Driving with Gloves and to like my Facebook site, Driving With Gloves. Thank you very much, until next time.